Well, everyone, it is the most wretched of holidays, April Fool's Day. But we're not here to talk about that, we're here to talk about the spring event in good old Abyssrium Pole. So there are ten fish. Most people don't realize there are a, there is a hidden fish. It doesn't really show up here. But yes, there is a hidden fish, so please watch the video. A lot of people aren't using the guide I noticed from my analytics, so um, yeah, look out for that. But basically, that's right, Barker. Hi. Hi, Barker, yes. Basically, there are ten new fish. There is also some new UI stuff. Um, there's an in-app purchase tied to the event. I think it's the flower deer, yeah. That's right, Parker. They added, basically this is the new shop tab. They just added, oh, hold up, you can't see my mouse. Um, basically they just added this little treasure chest over here. That's the new shop tab. And they removed the shop tab from here. Um, and there is, Mew. Hi, Parker. There is... How do you do the customization? Ah! Parker. Thanks. Hi. Oh, here we go. There are... I don't know if these are limited or not, but these two new... There's two new um, things you can buy for pearls. They're very expensive. Um, they do not... They are not required for the... Um, for the um, new event. There's also this new tutorial thing that you can do stuff in. Um, oh, let me just say that it is, since it is April, unfortunately April 1st, but still April, uh, my birthday's on April 19th, so that's always a good excuse to uh, check out my Patreon. Um, that's right, Parker. Send any amount, or failing that, um, PayPal is always an option. I also have a Kofi, or you can just send me well wishes on Twitter or YouTube. Parker. That's April 19th. Um, so, hi Parker, yes. Sorry, my cat is helping. So, let us get to the fish. Most of them are not very hidden. You just have to unlock them kind of in order. But let's just go right down the list. Um, Kahu... Kohaku Koi Fish is basically free. Level 100 Lonely Iceberg is all you need for that. Um, Higogi Koi Fish... Oh, there's no... Parker, stop that. Um, the, um, there's no currency in this event. You just use Vitality, which seems like it might be nice. Stop that! Stop it! I'm sorry, my cat is attacking my headphone cable, which is very naughty. Stop, stop that. Um, come, come here. Come here. Um, it, it might seem like it's a good idea, but the problem with that is the Vitality Curve is very irregular. So if you just started the game, you could complete this event in, like, a day, in like a few hours if you really know what you're doing. Um, if you're really far into the game, the game kind of slows down. So it might take you a really long time. So yeah, I'm not a big fan of that idea. They should have just had it added to currency like regular Abyssrium. I don't know why they keep doing this like, you know, mix up stuff. Anyway, Hingoi Koi Fish, own five Koiki Koi. That's pretty common of the thing is to own five of the previous thing. Most of these are fit or like birds. Parker, stop it. Um Chick, tap thirty bubbles from Spring Event Ray. Parker, no! You you need to go on time out. What is wrong with you? Um Tap thirty bubbles from Spring Event Ray. As always for these kind of things, these um do not usually start counting until you already um, unlock the step. So do these in order. Um, tap 30 bubbles from spring event. Rayfinned fishes, those are the koi fishes. Um, take 10 photos of spring event rayfinned fishes. Again, the koi. Own 10 spring event creatures, so just five of each of the above. Blue goose, gross beak. Own five chicks. Take a picture of the higoi koi while vigorous plankton is active. Oh, by the way, there's a new daily thing, too, so you can get a little burst of each skill once per day. Would you calm down? Um, by doing these little tasks, so it's a lot easier. It's a lot... What do you have? Stop that. Uh, it's a lot easier to um, get some of the fish that you need to use certain skills for. So you will need to use the skill for several of these events, or several of these event fish, rather. Um, own 15 spring event creatures with a blue gross beak. Northern Cardinal, five blue gross beaks. 
Take 10 pictures of spring event birds. Um, solid white chicken. Is that like solid white alpagore? Um, share a photo of northern cardinal while blessing of snow is active. Um, let me scroll this down for you. Um, tap 50 bubbles from spring event air types. You know, birds. Uh, own 25 spring event creatures. Uh, let me put... Oop, no, no. You can stay where you are. Move this one up here. Um, the Nuttails Woodpecker? Or n n Nuttalls? Uh, I'm not sure which one of these is a typo. It's probably the one in-game. Um, own 10 spring event land types. Those are birds, or those are things that stand... I, that's probably the chicken, actually. You know, things that are on the land. Chick, maybe. Uh, I don't know. Oh, it tells you. Yeah, the chick is a land type. There you go. Um, so own 10 spring event land types. Take five photos of spring event land type... or er, bird types. Own five solid white chickens. Hopo, not to be confused with the Pokemon. Uh, own five nuttails woodpeckers. Take five photos of solid white chicken while Blessing of Snow is active. Take a picture of solid white chicken with chick. Couple photo. Domestic goose. Heck yeah. Get that get that good goosey boy. There he is. Look at that proud walk. That is a fine goose. Look at look at that. That is a good walk. In fact, let's um oh it shows you right here. Um yeah, own 20 event spring air types. Uh, tap 30 bubbles from spring event birds. Own 40 spring event creatures. Now the flower hair, which is hidden. Let's scroll this down for you. Take one photo of solid white chicken with domestic goose. Own nine species of 2020 spring event creatures. That's all of them. That's just own everything. Um, and own 70 total spring event creatures. Now some people seem to have some problems with unlocking this. Abyssrium, as always, is a super buggy game. Um, just buy more fish until it unlocks. If you're absolutely, dreadfully certain that you have completed the other unlocks. Personally, I would try for another photo first. Then, you know, just keep making fish at that point. You know, it's a bistrium. What are you going to do? Parker, would you calm your body down? Yeah, you need, you need to do that. So... Um, not a whole lot to this event. It will take a lot of time, especially if you're in the slower part of the game, which is why I don't really think tying it to regular vitality makes a lot of sense. Because uh, the game gets harder as it goes on, not easier, basically. Um, there's also this how-to-play tutorial that'll get you a, a bunny and some vitality and stuff. So, at least I think that's new in the same event. I haven't really been playing the game actively, to be perfectly honest. So, um... Parker, would you stop eating my house? I'm trying to do a video. That's right. Um, oh, and customization is a thing now. I almost forgot. There's um, there's a little... Um, there's themes and stuff. Wait, what? How do I... Oh, here we go. Jeez. Um, <laughs> that's weird. Why is there, like, fake buttons? Um, but yeah, there's themes for the uh, the event that cost pearls. They are not required for any unlocks. Usually in regular Abyssrium, they're always required. But in this one, not at all. But um, they're still permanent unlocks. And they get... Um, they do give you little bonuses for the event. So if you have extra pearls, you might want to check it out. If you don't have extra pearls, which you probably don't, <laughs> um, you know, yeah. As you can see, I do not have extra pearls. Yeah, that's why I like the event stuff, just only costing event currency, because that makes it so that everyone is kind of on an even playing field. If you're really far in the game, and the game is slowed down, but you have a lot of gems, you don't have any advantage or disadvantage, because it's a totally separate currency. And if you just started the game, you know, and you don't have any gems, and you don't have any vitality, it still doesn't matter, because it's still its own new thing. So, yeah, I, I kind of liked... The best way they did events was when Song of the Moon multiplied your candy and you just tapped the things a lot. Uh, the Hermit Crab, I think, was the second best way to do it. But, uh, yeah. I I'm not a big fan of this one, but you know what? It's the first event of the thing. I'm sure they'll probably change it a fair bit as things go, go on. Um, I don't know if we're going to be talking about monthly events at this point, or I don't know when this will end. They, the devs really do not communicate often or well. So, expect... 
a week before the event ends, there will probably be a timer in-game that tells you when it ends. That has traditionally been how Abyssrium events end. Um, I would say expect it to last at least a month. Considering it's the first event, it might go longer. It might not. The Halloween event was fairly short in Abyssrium. That was the first event in Abyssrium. So, we'll see. Um, again, check out my Patreon. I'm trying to get some new goals for Patreon. Trying to find some new fun streams and stuff that we can do. Um, maybe commission some new avatar, or not avatars, uh, emoticons for the Discord. Make sure to check out the Discord. That's always in the description. Um, we've been playing some um, Jackbox games and stuff in there lately. Stay safe amongst all of this coronavirus stuff and all of this April Fool's stuff. Seems like a particularly poor time to be doing stupid April Fool's jokes, but uh, whatever. Have a good day. So tap tap, signing out. Let me know what you think of the event in the comments. Alright gamers, remember to like, subscribe, and smash that bell. Frog, what are you doing in my house? I, I, I would just get out. Ah!